Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial for how to join spreadsheets with Python. So let's just get started. Joining and merging is a different skill than appending, which is combining them all vertically. This combines them horizontally. It's a little more complicated because you have to understand what joins are, but don't worry, we'll be going through everything with examples. So let's get started by looking at the files we'll be working with. They're available to download in the description. The first file is calls. So in this scenario, let's imagine that we are a sales team and these are all the calls that went out from our team. And what we're recording is the name of the person that was called, the products talked about, our notes and the date time that we called them. Now, Let's say we have another list, and this list is customers. So let's imagine that these are our current customers right now. This is their name, address, city, state, and email. And the relationship between these two lists is that calls can go out to anyone. These people don't have to be customers, but they can be. Again, they don't have to be, and each call gets recorded as one line item. So as you can see, JFK was called thrice. Jack Ma was called twice. Apple was called, but they're not a customer. Okay, so using this relationship, we're gonna explore all the different joins and go through them. Joins are also often talked about in terms of left and right data sets so for this tutorial customers will be the left data set and calls will be the right data set okay so let's get started first we download and save our files in a folder you can call this anything i choose to call this join now let's create our python file i'm going to save this as join.py in my folder and I'm going to be using the pandas library to read and write if you don't know how to read and write Python files then please check out our tutorial on it I'll give a link in the description okay so we start off by importing pandas as pd and we'll be using this so the first thing we have to do is read both Excel files. And I'm going to call the variables customers. And again, the command for this is pd read Excel, our file name, oops, it's capital C, dot XLSX. OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other file, calls. Cool. And this will read my files. So I just want to make sure that everything is right. I'm going to quickly run the script to check. No error so far, okay. So now I'm gonna walk through all four different joins and we'll walk them one by one and see the output of each while they're done. Okay, so the first type of join is an inner join. In an inner join, both the values that are the same in both data sets, those will be the only ones that appear. So in this case, depending on what we join on. So since we don't have any other identifiers besides name, we're gonna be joining on name. So for inner join, any identifier that is the same is what we'll be using. So in this case, John F. Kennedy is the same in both, is present in both, so that will appear. However, Natalie Portman is not in both, so that won't appear in our final product. Jack Ma is there, so that will appear. Nicholas Tesla will appear. 
Okay. And let's see how that's done in code. So first we're going to create a data frame in our join df. And this is done by calling the merge command on the data frame. So what I like to do is pick one data frame and go off that. So whichever one you call it on, that will be your left data frame. So in this case, we'll stick with the customers that are the left data frame. The argument that this method takes merge is the other data frame. How the join will be done. And what column name will it be on? So in this case, name. Okay. And if I run this, this inner join DF will contain this merge data frame. So in order to view it better, let me output that as an Excel file to Excel inner join dot xlsx. And now if I run it, I'll have a file in our join that will be in my folder containing records from both of these files where the name is present in both. So it has to be in both. Okay. So let's run it. Cool, nothing happened, that means it worked. And let's check it out. You have inner join.xlsx. Okay, it opened on my other screen. Let's look at it. And there you go. So I want to explore this just a little bit. As you can see, we have 11 rows here. And again, as I was saying before, whenever the names are the same, those will be the only records that appear. So in this case, John F. Kennedy was in customers and in calls that appears in our final in our join file however since Natalie Portman was not she does not Jack Ma, Nicholas Tesla each time there's a match all those records appear here name address city state email I was talked about notes and date time okay so that's the essence of joining spreadsheets. Let me do just type out all the examples. I won't go through all of them. I'll leave that as an exercise for you to do because I think the best way to understand joining in general is by doing this and with your own data and then checking the results. No matter how many times you look at the Venn diagram charts or have someone explain it to you, it won't really make sense unless you do it. Okay, so for left join, we're gonna do how equals left. And a left join means that depending on the identifier we're joining on, we're gonna take all the records from the left data frame or table, the ones that have an equivalent in the right, will get all of those columns that are also in the right data frame But the ones that don't, those values will be blank. So let me show you what I mean by this. So our left data frame we're saying is the customer's data frame, the one that we have been so far calling everything on. And let's take a look at the customer's file. Here we have JFK, Jack Ma, Natalie Portman. So we have 10 total records here. And when you do a left join, even if that record does not have a corresponding in the calls, this will still appear. However, these column names will just be blank in the left join final output. So for example, John F. Kennedy, there will be three records for John F. Kennedy in our left join file with all of these columns. However, for Natalie Portman, only the columns in the customer 
data set will be filled, not the ones in the calls. So let's run that and see how that looks. Okay, so as you can see, John F. Kennedy was present in both data sets, so all of his values are filled. Same with Jack Ma. However, Natalie Portman was only present in the left data frame of customers. So only the customer fields are populated and the call fields are empty. Same thing with Javier Bardem. On the flip side, if you were to do a right join, which we'll do after, anything that's in the right but not in the left will be filled. And the columns from customers will be blank. So in this case, Apple only exists in calls and not in customers. So if we did a right join, Natalie Portman won't appear in our output. However, Apple would with products talked about none in the date time and no address city state or email. Okay. So that I'll leave for you to do and check out. And it takes a little bit to keep doing this until you finally understand. So let's do all right join df. And I'm going to type it out. Again, you pick the data frame that you want to be the left, call the merge method, give it the data frame that you want to join with it, give the how, and the column that you want to join on, and then you output it. And then the final type of join is an outer join. In this, no matter what the values are, everything appears. So if the values appear in the, in the other data frame, then those columns get filled, and if they don't, then they remain blank. Okay, but again, try it out with your files and this experiment. One more caveat on this merge function, this on parameter can also take a list. So let's say that there was another identifier if there was an address in both, we could give it name and address like this. And then that will join on both the name and the address. Okay. So thank you for listening. This has been joining spreadsheets. One more time, if you don't know how to read or write, check out our other tutorial. There's also a blog post that goes with this tutorial. I'll put all of these in the description along with the sample files. And try these out with your files themselves. Especially if they're small, they're not gonna eat up any resources, they'll be fast. So you can play around with it and look at what's happening. And that will be the best way to learn how joins work. Thank you. And hope you keep loving spreadsheets. Bye-bye.